Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class, we uh, did a quick revision on numbers, right? That is five digit numbers. So in today's class, we'll be starting with the next topic that is addition. So what is addition? Addition is nothing but combining of two or more numbers together to get a total answer or the sum. Alright, so that is the meaning of addition. Now, previously in third standard, you'll have studied addition of numbers without regrouping. Correct. So, in addition of numbers without regrouping for four digit numbers, what you do first, you add the ones, all right, then you add the tens, then add the hundreds, and then add the thousands, and you will get your answer. So, this is an example for 1406 plus 2370. So, when you add these numbers together, you get a total of 3776 right so this is another example so 1 2 th uh, 3 4 plus 5712 when you add these together so first you add ones then tens then hundreds and thousands so when you add them together you get a total of 6946 okay then you will have learned what is addition of four digit numbers with three grouping so regrouping means in one particular place value for example if i take ones okay in ones place i can't write a number greater than nine that is i cannot write a two digit number in any of the places not just ones place but i can't write a two digit number in any of the places so when you add two numbers and get get a number greater than nine what you do you re regroup those numbers so how, what is the method first you add the ones first you add the ones then if there is an if the answer is greater than nine then you regroup the ones so here in this number we have done nine plus one so which is ten which is greater than nine so that ten we have regrouped it as we have written zero and ones place and carried over one to the tens place now similarly we add the tens place then if the uh, sum is greater than 9 we regroup the tens then carry over it to hundreds place then in the hundreds place we add all the digit in the hundreds place get an answer if the answer is greater than 9 again you regroup the hundreds and carry over to thousands place then we carry when we add thousand uh, all the digit in thousands place and then we get our answer so this is an ex answer for this example 5879 plus 3551 so when i add them using all the steps given here i get an answer of 9430 so if you see here we regrouped uh ones tens and hundreds so this is addition with regrouping then you have seen some properties of addition so one is called order property of addition or nothing but changing order of two numbers so when you add two numbers in any order you get the final answer same then the next one is grouping property of addition or in your books as it was it was called cha uh, changing order of num three numbers so here when you take three numbers what you do for addition you have uh, first you uh, group two numbers together add them then add those uh, then add that answer to the third number so you can group those numbers in any order okay so those three numbers you can group them in any order and add them your answer will be the same then zero property of addition or adding zero so whenever you add zero to any number your final answer will be the number itself okay then there's one more property called adding one so whenever you add one to a number you get the successor of that number we all know what's the successor so if for example if i uh, uh, 689 is there so when i add one to that i get 690 which is the successor of 680 Nine. So this is what you'll have this and I think you'll have studied number stories and some shortcut methods for addition last time. So now what we'll do, we will solve a few problems with uh, as a quick warm up of what you'll have studied and then we'll move on to the new topic of addition which you're going to learn this year. So page number 101 in your textbook. So the first page that is 
warm up so what are we doing here first one is add question one is to add right so and let's add these two numbers now how much is 4 plus 4 it is 8 so we'll write 8 there then we have 2 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 and then 2 plus 1 3 and then 3 plus 4 7 so you always start adding from the ones place so this answer is 7358 now 5 plus 1 more 1 plus 5 what is it it is 6 right and then 9 plus 0 which is 9 so 9 So 9 plus 0 is 9, then 8 plus 0 is 8 only and 6 plus 3 that is 9. So 9,896. Then here 6 plus 3, how much is 6 plus 3? It is 9. Then 8 plus 9. So when you add 8 plus 9, you get 17. So now what we'll do here, we'll write 7 in tens place, we regroup it and we'll write 7 in tens place and carry over the one two hundreds place so here then we'll add that one to four four plus one is five and eight plus five is thirteen now again the number is greater than three so we'll write three and carry over one so one plus two three and three plus one four so the answer is four three seven nine okay then seven plus eight how much is seven plus eight it is fifteen fifteen is again greater than nine so, we'll write 5 here and carry over 1. Now, 6 plus 1 is 7 and 7 plus 4 is 11. So, we'll write 1 and carry over 1. So, 8 plus 1 9, 9 plus 1 10. So, we write 0 and carry over 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. So, answer is 8, 0, 1, 5. You will please write it neatly. Please write it one below the other. So, the answer, so 5 in the example D should be below 8 and 7 only. So, write it neatly like that. Okay. Then, subtraction. So, here 6 minus 4. How much is 6 minus 4? It is 2. So, you can write 2 here. So, this is 2. And then 7 minus 3 is 4. 8 minus 2 is 6 and 9 minus 1 is 8. So your answer is 8, 6, 4, 2. Now again here 6 minus 4, 2. 8 minus 6, 4. Uh, sorry, 8 minus 6 is 2 only. 8 minus 6 is 2. 5 minus 3 is also 2. And 8 minus 6 is again 2. So your answer is 2220. Now 5 minus 8, you cannot do 5 minus 8 because 5 is smaller than 8. So what you will do, you will borrow 1 from 3. So that becomes 15 and then the 3 becomes 2. So 15 minus 8, how much is 15 minus 8? It is 7. So we will write 7. Then 2 minus 8, again you cannot do 2 minus 8. So you will carry over 1 from 4. So that 2 becomes 12 and 4 becomes 3. So, 2 minus 8 is 4. 2 minus 8 is, sorry, 12 minus 8 is 4. So, that is 7. This is 4. And then here we have 3. So, we cannot do 3 minus 4. So, we will borrow 1 from 7. So, that becomes 13 minus 4. And this 7 becomes 6. So, how much is 13 minus 4? 13 minus 4 is Thirteen minus four is nine, right? So we'll write nine over here, and then six minus two is four. So answer is four thousand nine forty seven. Now D one here five minus six. So how much is five minus six? You can't do five minus six. So what you'll do? What we'll do is we'll carry over or we'll borrow one from eight. So when you borrow one from eight, that five becomes fifteen. And 15 minus 6 will be how much? How much is 15 minus 6? It is 9. So we'll write 9 there. 
and then we have se uh, 7 minus 9 we can't do 7 minus 9 again so we'll borrow one and as you keep borrowing and subtracting you will get the answer as 2889 okay so this answer is 2889 then find the sum of now here the sum of the smallest four digit number and the largest three digit number now what is the smallest four digit number smallest four digit number is 1000 and the largest three digit number is 999 so their sum is 1999 next smallest three digit number that is 100 and largest three digit number 999 so when you add that you will get 1999 okay then the last one largest two digit number 99 largest three digit number 999 so when you add those two that is 999 plus 99 you get answer as 1098 sorry 1098 okay so this is how you find the sum of these now in the next part that is question 2 and 3 they have told add the add these numbers using shortcuts wherever possible so do these questions for homework do question 4 for homework in your notebook add these sums or add these numbers using shortcuts you have studied the shortcuts in third standard and then follow the examples and uh, subtract so 100 minus 34 so then what they have done they have done 100 minus 1 99 then 34 minus 1 33 so 91 99 minus 33 is 66 so they have subtracted 1 from both 134 and then you will get 99 and 33 which is easy to subtract same here 3876 they have subtracted both uh, one from both the numbers and got 2999 and 875 and you get your answer without any borrowing okay so uh, solve the these questions also for your homework all right so question four and five for your homework now what we'll do is we'll see addition of large numbers without regrouping okay so addition of large numbers without regrouping so what do we mean here now whenever you have large numbers to add okay what you'll do first you'll add the ones then you'll add the tens then hundreds thousands and ten thousand so we are going to study addition up to ten thousand here okay so you'll add from ones first ones tens hundreds thousands and ten thousands so here's an example 51,324 and 33,000 451 first what you'll do first you'll arrange these numbers in vertical columns like this so, so in one's place tens hundreds thousands ten thousands so see whichever digit is in which place in the numbers and then write those numbers accordingly in columns then what you'll do you'll start adding the ones so you have four plus one that is four ones plus one one is equal to five ones so you'll write five in one's place okay and then in thousands place you have two and five so two plus five is seven or two tens plus seven tens is sorry five tens is seven tens so we write seven in the tens place okay then three and four are in hundreds place that is three hundreds plus four hundreds is equal to seven hundred so we'll write seven in hundreds place all right then what you'll do then we have thousands place one thousand plus three thousand that is four thousand so you'll write four in thousands place then five plus three which is eight so eight thousand so you'll write eight in ten thousands place okay so this is addition of large numbers without regrouping so this was one example on addition of large numbers without regrouping okay then we have addition of large numbers with regrouping here what you'll do this is simple again so you add the ones place right you add the ones place whenever the ones place is greater than nine you carry over 
the you regroup the ones and then you carry over it to the next place that is tens then you add tens then you uh, carry uh, carry over to hundreds place and you go on carrying over the numbers till wherever you keep getting numbers greater than 9 it is the same as addition of number four digit numbers with three grouping but you just go on moving forward and adding the numbers so see here add the ones then they have carried over one to tens place then they have added all the tens then whatever uh there's whichever carryover is there so they have carried over it to hundreds place then they have added all the hundreds then they uh, regrouped it to thousands added the thousands regrouped it to ten thousands but when they added the thousands you see that here the number is still above nine so what you'll do you'll regroup it to lakhs place even though there are no other digits in lakh place so that will mean one plus zero one only okay so when we add these three numbers they've got one lakh twenty one thousand four hundred and eight so this you this is how you add addition of large numbers with regrouping so let's see some problems on this okay so page number 103 the first problem 4 plus 3 how much is 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 is 7 so write 7 in ones column Okay, we'll write 7 in 1's column. Then again in 10's column also 4 plus 3. So that is 7. Then 100's we have 3 plus 2, 5. So we'll write 5. Then 2 plus 4, 6. And then 1 plus 1, 2. So the answer is 26,577. So 26,577. Next one. 8 plus 1, 9. 5 plus 3, 8 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 1 8 and 4 plus 2 6 okay then 8 plus 3 how much is 8 plus 3 it is 11 so we'll carry over 1 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 10 so again we'll write 0 here and carry 1 5 plus 3 8 plus 1 9 then 8 plus 1 is 9 and 3 plus 4 is 7 so this answer is 79,901. Okay. So 6 plus 4, 10 plus 4, 14. 9 plus 3 is 12, 14 and 15. So 5 here carry over 1. Then 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. And 12 plus 4, 16. So we'll carry over 1. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. And 9 plus 1, 10. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. So, answer is 1,10,654. Now, 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 0 is 17 only. So, 7 carry over 1. Then, 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. 6 plus 4, 10. Plus 4, 14. Okay. And then, 8 plus 2 is 10. 17, 18. So 8 and carry over 1. Now here the second number has no 10 thousands place. So that is 0. So 6 plus 1, 9. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 1, 8. So 88,497. So all are 0 here. So answer will be 0. Then 2 plus 5, 7. 7 plus 1, 8. And then 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. So carry over 1. Then 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. And 12 plus 6, 18. Okay, so carry over 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 8, 11. And 11 plus 3 is 14. So 1 lakh 48,480. So this is the answers for question 1. Now for homework, I want you all to do these. So you all have to write them in columns as they have shown here above. And then add them. Okay, write this in your notebook do this in your notebook and also do the questions on page 101 question 4 and 5 so do your homework and the next class will continue with the next topic all right thank you students